We're in the depths of winter, so let's uh, take a little tour and look at these uh, warm supercars just sleeping here. Wrapping up our day here, so just want to take a little walk around, show you what we uh, see here every day at CMC. Today, if you walk in, you got an F8 Tributo, which is a beautiful car. That is the newest of the eight cylinder variety from Ferrari. Here we have a sold 812 Superfast. Check out the wheels in this thing, 80 V1s. Stunning, stunning car. Actually, that's one of my personal favorites. This is an SL65. This is a twin turbo V12, 661 horsepower. Um, if you don't know about this car, Google it because there's a whole lot of awesome stuff. I mean, look at those fender flares. It's a fixed roof coupe. It's not a uh, convertible like the rest of the SLs. It's, uh, there's a lot to learn about that car. Pretty sweet, one of my faves. Speaking of favorites, look at this color, Ascari blue with white interior, or I should say ivory to be correct. correct. But uh, that is just an unbelievable color combination. Next, that's one of the coolest, uh, I don't wanna call it a hybrid or maybe a crossover for a Ferrari, how about that? Uh, it's a four, four seat uh, hatch, this is the GT4 Lusso. Uh, on a special set of wheels. I can't remember exactly what brand these are. Anarchies. But that's a really amazing car. Next to that's uh, another piece of machinery we could drool over is a uh, GT2 RS. Uh, we actually did just sell this one to a great repeat customer of ours. Uh, it's a Vicec package, so you can tell by that uh, carbon fiber hood. But look at the uh, attention to detail on this car in the interior. They did it in red contrast suede. Pretty, pretty sweet. This is an exemplary piece of machinery here. GT2 RS 2011. This is actually a really rare car. Um, this was the first turbocharged RS car from Porsche. Stick shift, uh, 500, sorry, 620 horsepower of the rear wheels. But look at the very focused driving experience in this car. Right behind this car, got a Huracan Spider in a really interesting color combination. I do love the orange accents. I think that actually adds a lot to it, but this is one of my favorite colors on these cars. Actually might be my favorite color on this car. Next to that, Lizard Green GT3 RS. This car kind of speaks for itself. That color is everything, but what a mean machine. GT3 RS, that is a track car all day long. Next to that part of the American legend, this is the Ford GT 2006 yellow with black stripes. It's a four option car. That's wheel stripes, painted calipers. Actually, this has black calipers. And uh, Macintosh stereo, or McIntosh, I should say. It's different than Macintosh computers. This is a uh, car that was just built by AMS. It is a uh, twin turbocharged Huracan. Uh, when I say just built by AMS, I do mean just. Uh, pretty badass car. Can't really see much because they build these things so well. But it's a monster. Tucked in our exciting corner back here is a uh, 458 Str uh, Speciale. Uh, obviously a very rare Ferrari. This is the evolution of like the most evolved street sport race version of the eight cylinder cars. Uh, tons of carbon fiber, different arrow, uh, white with black stripes. Awesome black interior here. Tons of carbon fiber, and everything's very, very lightweight on this car. Focus on performance. Speaking of focus on performance, it's my favorite car by far that we have right now. This is the Porsche 918 Spider in liquid silver, I'm sorry, liquid metal silver. Just look at that car. 887 horsepower hybrid, almost complete carbon fiber construction. It is a plug-in hybrid, we actually have it plugged in over there. And this is the exhaust. You should hear these things fire up. It's incredible. They just bark. And it's a very distinct V8 sound on this car, but that's gorgeous. I believe this one's on loan from a customer, but this is a 21 Mercedes G63. Pretty amazing car. Look at this color combination. It's actually a matte gray over full red interior. They really changed this truck a lot. If you haven't seen the new G-Wagon, the interior is beautiful and it drives so much differently. These are smoking hot cars too right now. Come get them while they're hot. Over here, a pair of R8s. You can choose if you want your top up or top down. And then a beautiful McLaren 720 over here. Absolutely sick car. Super lightweight. 
Sitting here actually doesn't do it any justice. Looks much better if it's sitting out on the road. Very cool lines on that one. I'll try to talk over our detailers, but this is uh, what I call the vault. Uh, this is really our back storage area at our east building. We'll take a quick walk around right in front of me here. New G63. Just an awesome truck. Over here, the all new Audi RS7. This one's a Nardo gray, best color on the car, but it is the brand new 21 model. Very, very sweet. Got a Porsche GT3 here. It's got some of the decaling that's similar to the uh, 4.0 model. In the back, got a GTR. 21 Huracan Spider. So this is uh, virtually a brand new car. Got a couple of Mercedes SL450s back there. This is a 2020 R8, white, already sold, got red interior, it's stunning. Tycon Turbo S, with some big shoes on it. This thing is insanely fast, like lose your breath fast. Got a Ferrari 430 back here, a uh, R8 Spider. Up top got a 996 Turbo, 991 Targa with all blue, it's really an awesome car. Ferrari 430 Spider, it's an 07. Got another GTS Coupe up there from Mercedes, that's a 16 and a classic 99 500 SL. Continuing our tour here, one of the baddest, biggest four doors, S65 on a set of HREs. That is a monster of a car. Twin turbo V12, Range Rover Sport SVR, one of the baddest sounding trucks you'll ever hear. It sounds like an offshore powerboat when you really hit it. Supercharged 5 of these are 575 horsepower. Back here we have a little gem. It's kind of hidden away for a reason. This is automotive royalty. It is a 97 Porsche Turbo S. I have driven this car. It is amazing. New arrival just came from a customer. This is actually a underground racing stage three R8 twin turbo. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's 1,100 horsepower at the wheels on pump gas. And if you get race gas in there, 100 octane, you would be at 1,250 at the wheels. That is Bugatti Chiron power. Incredible. 9.0, quarter mile on that car. One of my absolute favorites. Probably one of everybody's absolute favorites. It is a 911 Turbo S. One of the easiest cars to drive. You could drive it every single day. Uh, but it is a absolute monster on the road. One of the easiest cars to drive fast. Got another Range Rover SVR. This thing's pretty badass. It's got a lot of, uh, it's got a, a bunch of carbon options I've never really seen, but there's an optional hood on this thing. That is a full carbon fiber hood. You can see it's got intakes. Or actually, that's just more aero. Well, that's pretty bad. Wrapping up the end of the line, you've got an E92 M3 here. Just service. This car is actually stunning. Just took it on trade. Another Huracan. Beautiful. Another great driver. The mighty Dodge Viper, it's a fifth generation car. It's got a nice set of wheels on it. Uh, that's a gorgeous car with 9,000 miles. Gray R8. Obviously we have a lot of R8s, there's a reason. They're fantastic cars. Torch Red ZR1, check this bad boy out. ZTK, which is the track pack. You can see the carbon wings there, big wing on the back. And then a stealthy matte black R8 right behind it. Got kind of our classics row over here. Got a stick shift uh, Gerardo over there in the corner. Old, what looks like an old Chevy. Uh, I'm not even sure what the heck the spec is on that thing. Somebody's Cadillac, don't know whose. Uh, 69 Chevelle and two Audi RS Q8s. These are brand new on the market. Uh, that's one of our customers there. That is a Maybach DLS 600, just came out. I'm not sure if it's open, but if it is, you gotta see the back seat of this thing. Obviously being professionally detailed by our crew, but check this out. Full reclining rear seats. And the attention to detail in this car is unbelievable. The quality of the leather, just the smell of it. it smells incredible. So luxurious. As we continue our tour in our West building, here is a stunning white on red Porsche Turbo S. We have a 2021 Chevrolet Corvette convertible. This is uh, a rare beast. You really don't even see these in many Chevy dealers. They're just starting to come out, but uh, it is a, it's essentially a brand new car. Uh, it's got four miles on it. So you could take this and be the first owner. 
to really enjoy it. Such a cool car. They drive amazing too. They did such a great job on the new C8. Uh, speaking of doing a great job on another car, this is the uh, the new Aston Martin Vantage. This actually has a Mercedes-Benz 4-liter V8 in it now, uh, compared to what they had with the other uh, previous generation Vantage. Uh, the sound is incredible, but best driving uh, Aston I've ever driven by far. This cool piece, Shelby GTH, which used to mean GT Hertz rental. This time it means GT Heritage. This one is supercharged. I believe it's 700 horsepower. Um, don't quote me on that. I will have to make sure of it, but we did just get it in 4,000 miles and it is one of the best looking Mustangs I've seen. This is a one of one Dodge Viper. It actually belongs to a fantastic customer of ours. Um, probably my favorite ACR extreme color combination. Got the wing. I think they believe they call these brass monkey wheels, but pretty amazing. Right next to it is a 1500 mile snakeskin Viper. And right next to that is an 86 mile snakeskin Viper. Almost perfect twins, literally. We're probably the only room in the world actually right now that actually has two snakeskins sitting right next to each other. This is pretty amazing. This is a uh, tuned CTSV. You should hear this thing start up, it's incredible. It just sounds uh, very, very, it's not very loud, but it's just got a really, really mean sound to it. But it's supposed to be about, what, 650 at the wheels on the CTSV? Yeah. 650 at the wheels. This is a 540 mile GT350R, uh, virtually brand new. It is a one owner car, we were actually lucky to get a hold of this. Carbon fiber wheels, Brembo brakes, but this is the R focused edition of this car. Pretty amazing. Got another 14 Viper, very similar to the one we saw across the street. This one's totally stock, just a little bit more miles. And then the second copy of the RS7 2021 they have in all black. Pretty crazy looking. Back here we have an 800 horsepower 1M coupe. Very well built, I've driven it. It's insanely fast in that little car, but it's, it actually does put the power down. It's, it's really fast, E85 only. At the end of our tour here, got another CTSV. This one's totally stock with only 5,000 miles though. That is such a cool car to drive. So fast stock. And then one of my all time favorites we're gonna close up with here. This is the clown shoe bread box, whatever you wanna call it, but it is a BMW M Coupe, six speed. They're all six speeds. Uh, only 15,000 miles on it. And since it's a 2002, anybody that knows this car, knows it has the S54 BMW motor, which was out of the E46 M3. So much cool car, so thanks for taking a quick walk. This is what it is.